In this video, we are going to learn about something that defies the common sense. Defy, yes, defy, decentralized finance in this video. So I'm sure you have heard of the word DeFi, decentralized finance, somewhere out in the wild. What does it mean? If you know anything about cryptocurrencies, even Bitcoin or Ethereum, like any token, any token, any currency, any cryptocurrency out there, you know one thing for sure, that you can transfer this currency from yourself to somebody and you can receive this currency from somebody to yourself. This we all agree about. Okay. Now in the real world, when you use the so-called real money, when you use dollars or pounds or Indian rupees, you can also do one more thing with your money. You can lend this money to somebody at an interest rate, right? Banks do it all the time. Sometimes you do it to your friends. This is a very good use case of real money. Now, in cryptocurrency, can you do it? I mean, if I send you three Ethereum from my wallet to yours and I say when I'll give it to you as a loan and you have to return it to me in three months but you don't have to give me three Ethereum in return you have to give me 3.5 Ethereum in return this 0.5 Ethereum is the interest but what if you do not give it back to me when I lend it out to you I am at the mercy of you what if you lose this money what if uh, somebody fishes you and steals your money what if you are just not a good intentioned person. What if you just take this money and run away? Whenever I lend out a cryptocurrency, I am at the mercy of you. DeFi solves it. So DeFi is basically powered by a smart contract. Smart contracts, you ask? I have made a video, uh, smart contracts for known techies. Please go and watch it. It's very simple explanation of what smart contracts are. So DeFi is simply a bunch of smart contracts that allows you to lend your tokens to somebody at an interest rate in a manner that you do not have to depend on them to get your money back. How does it work? Let me explain. So on one side is a person who wants to borrow some tokens. This is a borrower. On another hand is you who wants to lend out some tokens and make some interest money on it. And you are a lender. Borrower says, I want to get 100 tokens of token A. You say, I'll give 100 tokens of token A at 20% annual interest rate. He says, okay, fine, I'll do it. So this person, so this person wants 100 tokens of token A and this person, which is you, the lender, is ready to lend out 100 tokens of token A. So this smart contract, there's a smart contract over here. So this smart contract says, I will facilitate this. I'll allow this transaction to work. So this smart contract says, okay, borrower, if you want to get 100 tokens of token A, and their value in dollars is for example $100 so you put a collateral so you put another tokens worth $100 with me first and it's okay I have 50 tokens of token B which are $2 each so again total is 100 and I'll put them with you so 50 tokens of token B comes from borrower into smart contract and smart contract says okay I have got $100 worth of token B from this borrower now give your 100 tokens of token A and the 100 token of token A comes over here. And this 100 token of token A are again passed on to the borrower. And this smart contract has the collateral. What is a collateral? Collateral is a guarantee that you uh, keep with the smart contract in case, in case you run away with this money, in case you're not able to return this money, in case somebody steals this money from you, then this smart contract will give these tokens to the lender so that lender is not at the mercy of you. So what happens? The borrower gets 100 tokens of token A by keeping 50 tokens of token B with the smart contract. Now this borrower can do whatever they want to do. They might trade with this thing, they might invest somewhere, they, they can do whatever they want to do. And suppose after doing whatever they wanted to do, they got 50 new tokens. So now in total they have 150 or tokens of token A and they want to return it back and get their collateral back. So these 150 tokens of token A, they say, okay, I had to pay 20% interest. So I'll pay 120 back to the smart contract. I'll keep 30 of token A. So they keep their share of earnings, which is 30 of token A and return 120 of token A back to the smart contract. So smart contract says, okay, I have got the principal plus the interest back with me. So these 50 tokens of token B that you have kept as collateral, I'll give it back to you. So borrower gets their, their uh, share of token B, whatever their collateral was, back to them. And these 120 of token A comes back to the lender. So what happened? Lender started out with 100 of token A. Now they have 120 of token A. 
they made money over here the borrower they started out with 50 of token b but now they have 50 of token b plus 30 of token a so they made money they earned it and this was all facilitated in a manner that neither this person had to trust on this person or this person had to trust on this person both of them had to trust on this smart contract on this smart contract and it was all happy and dandy now suppose this was all fine and good this was a very good transaction carried out in a fair manner now suppose somehow somehow this person the borrower was not able to return back the principal and interest or maybe this person was not well intentioned this person ran away somebody stole money from this person whatever happened so smart contract would say t t t t your time is up you did not return back the money so what i will do is i will convert these 50 tokens of token b which were worth 100 dollars into 100 tokens of token a because they are also hundred dollars so this smart contract converts these tokens into hundred tokens of token a in the trustless manner in the permissionless manner and then gives out this hundred dollars worth of token a back to the lender of course this number is not exactly hundred dollars this number is actually more than hundred dollars because you have to put more collateral than what you are borrowing in most cases the returns are fair because this person who has kept the collateral wants to get the collateral back and this person earns a fair amount of interest rate in the very rare case when borrower fails to return the money then this smart contract converts the collateral into the same tokens that were lent out by the lender and give it back to the lender with slightly some appreciation some interest rate so this is what defies this is what defies this is how everybody uses now what is the use case why are people borrowing money if you if you have 50 tokens of token b and if you want 100 tokens of token a why don't you just sell your token b and buy token a why don't you just why do you want to borrow it instead of just swapping it out why do you want to borrow it because the crypto world is very volatile hey sorry for the interruption this is the hundred dollar eth giveaway announcement so what's the deal you bring more friends of yours to watch this video and the eth is yours how does it work step number one go to the very first link in the description of this video very first link on that link you'll be able to create a unique link of yours take this link share it with your friends on whatsapp on instagram on twitter if somebody clicks on this link and watches at least one third of the video you get one point at the end of two week period the top three people with the maximum point gets 100 dollars worth of eth divided among them in the same proportion of their points that's the deal okay and now continuing with the video if you have 50 tokens of token b and if you want 100 tokens of token a why don't you just sell your token b and buy token a why don't you just why do you want to borrow it instead of just swapping it out why do you want to borrow it because the crypto world is very volatile suppose you sell it suppose this borrower says okay i want to sell this hundred dollar worth of token b 50 tokens this person sold it and they but they got in return is hundred dollars of token a fine now they got hundred dollars of token a they did whatever they wanted to do and they made this hundred dollars of hundred tokens of token a into 150 tokens of token a fine now they say i will keep these 50 tokens which i have earned as my earnings and the hundred tokens that i have swapped i'll again swap it for token b so that i get my 50 tokens of token b back so when they take their hundred tokens of token a again to swap with token b they go through the market and then they find out that token B has also appreciated in value. Now token B is $4 worth of token. Now $4 per token. So what they get in return is only 25 tokens of token B. So they started out with 50 tokens of token B and 0 tokens of token A. But in the end they are left with 50 tokens of token A that they have made. But only 25 tokens of token B. And this is why they don't want to swap it. Because this token B is their long term holding they do not want to exchange it because they fear what if they exchange it and in the meantime the value of the token itself appreciates so much that they are not able to buy it back again this is why they do not want to swap it they only want to keep it as a guarantee keep it as a collateral to borrow something to do to trade make earnings give out the interest rate but get their long-term holding back which they had kept as collateral this is defy so what is defy let's summarize defy allows two people to carry out a lending and borrowing without trusting each other through a smart contract why do people borrow instead of just swapping it out because crypto markets are so volatile that if you swap out for one thing to for another and whenever later in the time you want to swap swap it back again you do not know what the prices will be because crypto markets are so volatile that is why people want to borrow against some long-term holdings that they put up as collateral and this is how people make money by lending some tokens out 
to the people through a smart contract now what are the risks you say this this person made so much money this person made so much money it's all so mind blowing this is defying common sense why isn't everybody doing it where is the risk there is a risk you do not see it yet but there is a risk where is the risk the risk is this smart contract this smart contract is a computer program and computer programs from a history of them computer programs are prone to be buggy what if what if there is a bug in this smart contract what if a hacker exploits this bug drains out this smart contract with all the collateral that it has and just steals it away this is the risk there are no other risk but this smart contract itself is the risk how do you mitigate the risk number 1 if you are a great computer program you can audit this smart contract line by line if you are not a great computer program you can hire a agency to audit this smart contract line by line third if you cannot hire an agency you can actually read about open source audits of this open source smart contract line by line and four if you do not trust this smart contract you just wait for some amount of time so that enough transactions have been carried out through this smart contract so that there is an inherent trust that you start developing for this smart contract because so for example so if this smart contract hasn't been hacked in the last 20 years probably it won't be hacked in next 2 years that is the risk and that is how you mitigate them and this was my video about defi decentralized finance how did you like it did you like it did did, did you like it i mean not really like i mean did you like this video if you like this video please like this video leave your reviews in the comments and follow up questions in the comments and please 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 share this video with your friends because i am on a personal mission personal 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 mission to bring 1 million more people into the crypto world by breaking down complex stuff in simple words i'll see you next time love you rest day this is a test okay okay people now my next video will be about defi decentralized D5. But what if? But what if? I mean, if I send you three Ethereum from my wallet to yours, and I say you don't have to return it to 